My story of tennis started when I was really young, around four or five. We used to live right next to my local club back in Wimbledon in England, so that's how I kind of got to love tennis and my mum played professionally as well, so she uh, really got me into it. Growing up in the backyard of, of Wimbledon tennis was obviously fundamental to my development as a tennis player. I remember uh, I have fond memories of going to Wimbledon, watching the tennis when I was seven, eight, coming out of school and, uh, and watching all these great players play. So that was really huge and fundamental for my tennis and it's a privilege now to be able to play there uh, this year, last year and hopefully for the many years to come. My game style I'd say is like a, an aggressive baseliner. I, uh, I actually quite like Andre Agassi and how he played, uh, taking the ball very early, hitting flat on, on both wings. I'd say my backhand's a little, a little stronger than my forehand. Um, well, definitely the shot that I was more natural playing with when I was younger. And yeah, I like coming to the net and finishing points off um, up at the net. I always considered college as one of my paths. When I was 16, 17, I got to number 12 in the world in juniors. So that kind of made me think about going pro again, but eventually made the choice to come here because of, I mean, Stanford's an incredible school and the program was just great. And the first interaction I had with the coaches here was kind of reached out to them. Paul came to the UK to see me play for the grass events in the, in the junior tournaments, the Wimbledon and, uh, and Nottingham before that. Um, we had we clicked and had great interactions so with Paul and with Brandon and I knew a bunch of the guys here already. Um, the success that Axel had had in the juniors really pushed me to come here and show me that it was possible to come to Stanford and come to a school as prestigious as Stanford and still play good tennis. Obviously Paul was a great player himself and he's, he's taught me lots of stuff and, and shared lots of his experience with me. Brandon obviously as well was a great doubles player and he's helped me on the doubles court. Um, and Horacio as well with the addition, he, he came to Stanford uh, my sophomore year and used all his expertise to help me as well on the court. Being number one was last year was, um, yeah, it was an honour and very, I was very proud of it. I think it was the first time in I think, 10 years that um, someone at Stanford was number one. So yeah, it was a great achievement and definitely a stepping stone for better things to come. Uh, I chose to take the fall off uh, for my junior year to go play pro tournaments, mostly in Europe, uh, futures and challenges. Yeah, I, I really loved my time and showed me that I, I did want to be a professional tennis player. And uh, a huge relief to kind of win my first 25K in, uh, in Nottingham last summer. Uh, proud, proud achievement, of course, and um, yeah, sign of better things to come. Wimbledon with one of my best friends, Felix, uh, was on probably the best, the best moment on court I've ever had. Uh, in my tennis career so far, it was yeah five minutes away from where I grew up, and all my friends and family were there. Um, night match, good good atmosphere. I had the, the bells ringing from the church uh, above, and yeah, just uh, an awesome experience. And hopefully, it can happen again. Yeah, being in college obviously provides um, a unique experience because you're playing tennis in a team event, um, in, a, in a team environment, which doesn't happen in an individual sport like tennis. Great friends on the team, and I think they're, they're the people that I spend the most time with off court. So um, it's been a privilege and definitely gonna keep those friendships for, for a long time, even after college, whenever I leave. Being a leader now in my third year at Stanford, it's, it's great and I can, I, I can hopefully help the younger guys on the team to, to improve in their tennis and in, and in life. I think one of the most important things in college is the lessons you learn is managing all your, all your commitments, tennis, academics, social life. It's, three things that um, you have to balance well in order to, to thrive here and um, I hopefully they can find the right balance in between all of those things. It's been a good season for me. I've managed to balance my academics and my tennis um, pretty well. I've managed to keep a, a good level um, the whole way through. The team has been mixed. We've got a lot of injuries recently and um, still bringing them through to postseason. So obviously excited for the postseason. It's going to be going to be a good time in the NCAA tournament. Um, I think we have a great chance of doing well if everyone's healthy and, and ready to compete.